All right, hey guys, this is Ian Moran here from Tweak3D, and I quickly want to show you how to set up hotkeys in Maya if this is something which you're still not familiar with. Uh, we talked about it a little bit in the last lesson, and I, I remember I um, said that I would make a short lesson just explaining quickly how to set them up if you weren't sure. Now, I just have a, a bunch of hotkeys that I use, actually. I don't, I don't use so many. Um, you have the ability to set up pretty much everything as a hotkey in Maya, um, but there are just some repeated ones that I use over and over again. Um, now, some of them are already set up for you by default. Uh, if you look here, we've just got this cube here to demonstrate it. Um, for example, here, if I go into here, I'm in Q, I'm here in selection mode. W is transform, so I can move the object around, okay? Um, if I hit E, I go into this rotation mode. And if I hit R, I go into scale mode. Most of you probably already know this, okay? Um, and these are set up by default. Uh, but but of course a lot of them are not set up by default which you will use a lot so for example let's say that I wanted to just move vertices around well the way you would do it without a hockey is just to hit uh, the right mouse button and go into vertex uh, and here I can select the vertexes that I want and move them around okay uh, I could also select the edges faces UVs etc all from here right um, but it's much easier with a hotkey. Uh, now my hotkeys that I have set up are probably a bit unusual and I'm not entirely certain why I settled on these hotkeys, but I find they work for me. Um, but I, I know that every designer is different and every designer has their own habits. Um, but I'll show you how to set them up and you can set, set up the hotkeys that you want, okay? So basically, let's go through this. Okay, so to set up the hotkeys, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, just go to Windows, Settings and Preferences, and there you go, Hotkey Editor. Open that. Now what you'll see here on the, on the right is uh, this keyboard, and the colors, that are, the turquoise keys, are actually keys that have been used for some kind of function. It says here, uh, assigned key, right? So the gray ones are available to use as hotkeys. Uh, these ones, you can use them as a hotkey, but you'd have to overwrite something that's already preset in there, okay? You can also use different combinations, so I can hit the control key, or the shift key, or the alt key, and, uh, and this will show me which combinations are already being used, okay? Um, it, it just kind of gives you some help if you think, okay, well, what what key can I use for a certain function that isn't being used? I know, okay, B isn't being used, for example. Um, but let me um, show you how to set up these, the vertex and the faces and the, and the edges. So if you go into here, so, uh, choose a category, select menu items, and you want to go into the common tab and hit select, double click that to open it. And then you want to double click here, components, and here you can see vertex, edge, and face. And you can see that I've got them set to uh, Z, X, and C on my keyboard. Um, you can choose whatever you want. You might decide that you want to pick, for example, S. Um, now if I put S, of course, it tells me it's already set to something. Uh, do you want to override the existing hotkey? And of course the answer here is no, I don't, right? Um, but, uh, but if you want to, of course you can, right? Um, so that's where they are, so you can just change them very easily in there. Uh, what else are we going to look for? Let's also look into the snap. I use this snap one quite a lot. And to find the, the snap, I actually need to go into a different menu, into other items. And then from there, I go into... Uh, where was it? The one I want the item modeling toolkit ah it's here at the bottom okay so i go into this modeling toolkit and then i'm looking for something called point snap press which should be down here somewhere there we go okay and this point snap press what this allows me to do is to toggle on this snap right here 
So let me just uh, save and close these a minute to explain how these work. In fact, okay. So, right, there's this little snap here, which I can use. So if I turn that on, I'll show you what that does, right? And I'll select the vertices. Okay, I select that vertices. And I want to snap it here. I can just middle click and drag, and it'll move it to where, to whichever point I've, I've selected, right? Um, so let me undo out of that. But what I don't like to keep going up here and turning that on and off the whole time. So what I do is I set up a hotkey where I just hit the V and when the V is pressed, it will allow me to snap. Okay, so just give me a second to set that up. Let's select that. Let's put it into transform, hit V, middle mouse, and there I go, I can snap it to whatever point I want to. The moment I leave go of V, watch, it disappears again. So it just toggles that on and off, okay? So let's go back into our hockey editor. Uh, I'll have to go through here again. So other items and modeling toolkit. And it was down here. So it's this one here. So I've got the point, uh, point snap press as V and the point snap release as V also, okay? Okay, in addition to that, there are some others that I use. I'm just going to move this to the side a moment. Um, so we've already set up our hotkeys for the vertex, the edges, and the faces. Um, we also have our hotkey set for our snap. There's another one here that I use quite a lot, which is this one for selecting object mode or component mode, which is just these keys here. Um, I think by default, it's actually set to F8, so I can toggle between the two in using F8. However, I'm using a Mac, and if any of you guys are using a Mac, you might automatically have those F7, F8, F9. Those keys might be set for media keys, which allow you to play and stop things like uh, QuickTime movies, or iTunes or something. So what I had to do was, of course, reassign it to something else. So I, I just reassigned it to the F6 key because that one was available. Um, so let me go into my, oh, wait a minute, I have it over here. I'll just drag it over again. And to find that, we need to go into our menu items. And then let's go to common, this part here. And we're gonna go to component where is that? Actually, no, let's go select. And then it's, ah, it's here, okay? So you're going to menu items, select, and then down here we've got this object component toggle, and that's set to F6. So what that actually does is when I'm in here, if I hit the F6, you can see that this just switches between the two. And, and that one I find really handy, because say for example, I'm here working in component mode, and I'm moving stuff around, and then I just wanna go back to object, I just hit the F6 and I'm back in object. I don't have to keep going up here each time and correcting that, okay? Okay, now, uh, there's only really one other hockey that I, I can honestly say that I use a lot, and that's the extrude. So if you remember what extrude is, it's where I may select a face, and then I can create, uh, pull out the geometry from that, that face, creating an additional face and additional geometry. Um, I could also use these numeric uh, selections here to make changes to it, and they're pretty useful, actually. Uh, I may do another lesson on that sometime, but for now, uh, let me just show you how to set up the hotkey for that. Now, I have a strange hotkey for that. I actually have N as my hotkey, which isn't really connected to the to extrude. It wouldn't make a lot of sense. However, it was just one of the only available hotkeys that was was there for me to use, so I, I took advantage of it. And, and now I'm just in the habit of using it, and it works well for me. So let me go back and just get out of that a minute. Let me hit the F6 to go back into object mode. And let's uh, find that here in the hotkey editor. Um, now, to find that one, it was pretty easy. Of course, I'm just going to be in menu items. Let me close this down. And I want to go into modeling, okay? In here, go into edit mesh. And then extrude is right here, okay? And I've set the hotkey there for N. 
Uh, when I've done all of that, just save and close, and of course, that will work. So I'm selecting the faces with C, I'm extruding with N, let's select that out, select another face, extrude again, okay, mm, super. Uh, and you'll find that those keys are some of the most common keys that you will need to use. That's basically all there is to it, it's pretty straightforward. Um, the hardest bit, I would say, let me open the editor again, the most difficult part often is finding what you want to add the hotkey to in this menu and it can get a little confusing. Um, you, you probably you may have to search a little bit actually to find it. Another option of course is that there's a search by here and you can just type in what you're looking for and hopefully um, Maya will find it and pop it up there for you. That's another option. Okay. Um, well, that pretty much concludes the lesson. Like I said, my hotkeys are pretty unusual. Of course, use them if they work for you too. Please use them. Um, but uh, you're welcome to use whatever hotkeys work for you. Like I said, every designer is different. Uh, you'll probably find if you're working for a company and you sit on somebody else's computer, you'll be like, what the hell's going on with these hotkeys? And you'll instinctively want to change them. And that's quite natural. Okay. Um, but if you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comments. I'll be sure that I get back and answer them for you. And uh, you please have a great day. Okay. Bye-bye.